everybody, it's me, Lenitria Ellis of Caribbean Cowgirl. Today I am at the Bento Box, which is an amazing uh, sushi restaurant. You're thinking, I don't know, maybe chilling with the girls, you know, tossing a couple back of a little bit of sake or whatever. Second date, first date, whatever. Just kind of a low key, casual dining experience, you know, with some. Asian infusions. Before we go in um, and I get lit off of this sake and sushi, let me talk about my look for a second. So I got on a little afro shirt with my little Japanese bomber just for a little, you know, flavor for all you nerds out there if you know anything about the Afro Samurai. If not, look it up. I do want to let y'all know no snakes were harmed in the making of these boots or this belt. It's fake. So yeah, whatever. But um, get into my look and watch me get into this food. Come on. So, hi. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Chef Lee, I'm Lanitria. Nice to meet you. After all the emails, it's finally good to meet you. Good to meet you too. So, now is this just a sushi bar? You know, it's a good misconception. It is known for our sushi. We're known for our sushi, and me especially, because we do really high quality sushi. But we also do really high quality Asian food from China, Thailand, Vietnam, Japan, Korea. I was in Thailand last year for a couple of weeks and just did food research for street food that we added to the menu. Guys, I'm excited. I hope you're hungry. I am. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> chefing before the sushi? 1989 maybe. I did an apprenticeship in a Japanese restaurant and I fell in love with the Japanese part of it and the sushi part of it and I've been doing it ever since. Awesome. So the last name Lee was just kind of a coincidental thing? Actually or? Lee's my first name. Oh okay. Oh well that makes sense. I've heard, no I, I heard of this. It's just uh, what is it? Sashimi? <laughs> yeah okay. that's it. So there's sashimi and there's nigiri. Sashimi is just the fish without the rice or anything else. But what I think we're going to do today is we're going to make some nigiri because it would be easier for somebody that doesn't really eat just raw fish. You know, when you talk to people about sushi, there's like a beginner, an intermediate, and an advanced. Beginner would be like a California roll. That's me. Advanced would be like the sashimi. Okay. I'm going to do first bluefin. So this is bluefin tuna, and I'm going to cut the tuna into a piece of nigiri. And then I'm actually gonna put a, I'm gonna put a little wasabi on it. You're okay with a little horseradish? Uh, yeah, I like horseradish. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put a little horseradish on it, which is wasabi. So why is it green? If it's horseradish, why is it green? Because there's kinds, different kinds of horseradish. Wasabi is actually green. It's, it's a form of horseradish. It's not the straight up stuff that you think about when you think about cocktail sauce. Right. I'm gonna put just a little wasabi on it. Okay. And then I'm gonna put some rice and it'll be a piece of nigiri. And then before I put it on the plate, I'm actually gonna put some really cool soy sauce. We do something here that a lot of places don't do, uh, especially around here. We do edome style sushi for people that like that or ask for it. A lot of people just wanna get their sushi and they just wanna put the soy sauce and put whatever they want on it. But traditionally, when you got a piece of nigiri, the chef would put the wasabi on it and season it for you, and then he would put a type of sauce on it for you. So all you did was pick it up and eat it. So we're gonna make some of that kind of nigiri today. Okay. So that people can see that you can get really specialized if you wanted to. I feel then, special, that makes me feel special. Well, you should feel special. Ooh. The second fish I'm gonna cut is called hamachi. This is my favorite fish. Now, is this like a light, flaky, or buttery? Like, what's the flavor? Because I've never had that kind so, of So, hamachi, this hamachi is from Kyushu, Japan. Mm -hmm. And it is very buttery. Some people call it butterfish. Mm. And it'll melt in your mouth like butter. <laughs> Can you say butter? Like butter. Like butter. Butter. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Yeah. <sighs> so, if we're doing a Vietnamese dish or a Thai dish, I really want to try to make it as authentic as I possibly can. I didn't just go to Thailand, we got to do some research on the food and 
learn specific things about specific areas and I was able to bring those things back to the restaurant. So you don't just focus on more of the Japanese aspect of sushi, it's just it's other um, areas and regions of Asia as well. Oh yeah, we do food here from China, Thailand, Vietnam, Japan, Korea, uh, the Philippines and Indonesia. So like the Thai dishes that we have on the menu are very specific to like we have a, a dish that's called khao soi. It's a noodle dish from Chiang Mai. And it's just like that you would get it there. I went and actually learned how to make it in Chiang Mai. This sake, this is pretty cool sake. So this sake is cold sake. All the good sake is cold. The cool thing about this is that this is draft sake. This is the first restaurant in the state, actually on the East Coast, to have draft sake on tap. Oh, so y'all got the exclusive exclusive. Exclusive. Mm. So, the other thing is, you should always pour sake for someone else. So I just poured your sake. Oh, so now you okay. should pour my sake, because it's bad luck to pour your own sake. You want more? Is that no, good? that's good. Okay. I, gotta, I gotta cut some more fish later. Okay. <laughs> and then you go, come pie. Come pie. What, what does that mean? Get lit? Cheers. Oh, okay. Or get lit. I'll let, yeah, come pie, get lit. So I have to drink all of it, or I just sip it? What do I, like a shot? Well, I mean, Depends on the mood. But you can do all of it if you want. Okay. Wait. Or you can just do a shot. How drunk will I be? I don't know. You got to ride home? Yeah. Okay, then you can get drunk. Okay, I can get lit. Yeah. Okay, come pal. Come uh, pie. Come pie. Just kidding. <laughs> that is good. It is good, right? It's like sweet. Oh my it's God. It's not too strong. It's really smooth. What? And when you drink it cold, Look out. Okay, down. that's really good. I'm just gonna finish this. You go. That's why we have more. I have a whole nother cake. Yes. Oh my gosh. So this is what I've been missing out on my whole sake life? Yes, ma'am. Oh wow. Y'all, okay. it's about to get real lit up in here. It's a lituation, okay? Mm -hmm. Do you know how to use chopsticks? A little bit, just like a little bit. Do you need training wheels? Really? Well, just kidding. I think I can handle it. I can get you training wheels. Let me, let me, let me see if I remember. If I'm not too drunk, because I'm drunk. Already? I'm lit a little bit. Really? I, I'm not gonna lie, I am lit a little bit. Well, you're little anyway. You're, you're like 80 pounds soaking wet, baby. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. <laughs> but I'll take it. Okay, so remember, I already put stuff on the, I already put sauces and everything on the tuna and the salmon and the hamachi. So you don't have to do anything except eat it like that. So you can pick up a piece of fish, right? Just like that. I can't even use the chopsticks because it's stuck together. I guess. Try to grab it from the side and it'll be easier not to break it. Oh, okay, yeah. And then you should eat a piece of sushi in one bite, right? Or half a bite. Mm. And this is the bluefin. Bluefin tuna. Oh man. Mm. So it wouldn't be wrong if I just threw this whole thing in my mouth right That's now. That's what you're supposed to do. Okay, great. Because, um. There you <laughs> go. Oh my god, that is so good. Now, have you had raw fish before? No. First time? What happened? It was Sabi just pushed me in my nose. Oh yeah, I told you. Oh my god! Was in there. Oh my god! That was very little Wasabi. I forgot. I forgot. You weren't expecting. How could you? I thought we were friends. I did it right. I showed you. I did it right in front of you. I don't hold no. Wow! Hand. You tricked me. Oh wow. no! So this one is the hamachi. Mm -hmm. The hamachi is the some people call it butterfish or yellowtail. This is my favorite. So there's a little scallions on top. There's wasabi underneath it. Oh, oops. Okay, just thank you for the. Oh. No one saw that. I dropped all the scallions. I like them. Never mind. So, pick it up. One bite. Mm. Oh my god. That's my favorite. Mm. So it's just like butter, right? It is like... It melts like butter. Like butter. Mm. Mm. 
If this all sushi sushi tastes like this or just yours? I can't speak for anybody else's sushi, but this is how my sushi tastes. But I take a lot of time in sourcing it and I take a lot of pride in how we prepare it. So I think we set a benchmark that's pretty high. Y'all, this is so good. Like when I tell you I could lift this whole tray and shove it in my mouth, I could do that. I might do that. Just a heads up. Okay, so you know what? I think I'm gonna have to bring my girls and have a girls' night and just, you know. And bring a rich guy, because it could cost them. Right. The way you like the sake, it could cost them. I don't, and I don't like to pay. I don't like to pay. <laughs> well, there you go. So this roll has shrimp tempura inside, mm. crab salad, and then mango, asparagus, and scallions. Okay. And then it's wrapped in a chili soy wrapper. So see the chili on the outside, chili flakes on the outside. If I can pick it up, because the way the 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 chopstick the chopsticks you gave me are broken. Actually, these are broke. I can uh -huh. tell. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. It's not bad, right? That is so good. I, first of all, I love shrimp. I love crab. And everything else in there you put in there, I love that too. That's good. Mm. Yeah, it's been very popular. I'm happy with it. Can I just get a little more? Oh, you can have as many as you want. <laughs> I can have some more? You can have as many as you <laughs> okay. want. Okay. I work here. I can get it anytime. <gasps> oh my God, this is so good. Y'all, this is so good. Watch me eat this, y'all. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Mm. So I'm gonna put this over here. If you give me your glass. Oh my god, how did you know? Well, it's empty, so I kind of guessed. You know me. You know me. That's why I became a chef. To make the girls happy. Right. And you're doing a, you're doing a great job. So I'm just gonna get some more of this, because this is, this is so good. And I'm not just saying that, like, I'm not a liar. I appreciate that. Aries are known to be very honest, the most honest in the Zodiac. This is a fact, look it up. Mm -hmm. You okay? It's so good. You gotta save a little room. Oh, I have plenty of room. Because we got chocolate after this. My best friend? Yeah. Chocolate is here? Oh yeah. So this dish is called Vietnamese ginger beef. So it's kind of like a warm salad. Mm. And it's a uh, beef tenderloin, broccoli, carrots, shiitake mushrooms, and baby bok choy. And it's stir fried in like a ginger sauce, like almost like a ginger kind of vinaigrette. And we top it with some pickled red onions and some um, bonyado, which is like a sweet potato, kind of like a sweet potato straw. And then you just kind of mix everything together. So it's kind of like eating healthy. Are you kidding me right now? That is... And that's beef. That's beef. So a little known fact about me. I don't eat beef. So I don't like red meat. You just eat beef. I love this. It's like butter, okay? Butter. Time. You are a master at what you do. Thank you. So guys, we're gonna eat this meal and we're gonna be back with dessert. So stay tuned. So this is, this is a chocolate pot sticker. So this is kind of like our signature dessert. Everybody that comes, they always wanna have a chocolate pot sticker because they were created here and the only place you can really get them is here. It's a Belgian chocolate truffle that we make from scratch. And then it's wrapped in a crispy wonton with a caramel dipping sauce. And each one of them have individual flavors. So you got a peanut butter one, and I have a cashew one. So what you want to do with it is you want to grab it, dip it in the caramel. I love to dip. Like, dipping is my thing. Like, I like dipping. Now take a bite. <laughs> See the eyes rolling in the back? That's how you know it's good. Go ahead. So then you pick up your spoon and you 
pour a little more caramel inside. But usually, if somebody's sitting at the bar at one of those high stools, I gotta tell them, hold on to your chair. Because I don't want anybody to fall off the chair after they bite it. This is true because... It's deadly. When I bit into that warm chocolate... Wait till you get to the middle. Here it comes, here it comes. Okay, and the room just spin around a little bit. That's not the sake. Are you sure? That's this. Okay. I'm so serious. Like I'm. Oh my god, this is so good. So you don't mind? Just know you don't mind if I just like shove all this because no, this is. No, that's what you're supposed to do. But I love the crispy wonton. Like I like that little crunch. Yep. Yeah. I'm about to just eat all of this. I can get you another one. Can? Anything you want. No, don't say that, I'm gonna cry. The labor of love in each dish, like the preparation in each dish, the ingredients, the quality of the ingredients, um, just the thought that goes into each dish, and then just the way you talk about it. He loves what he does, you guys, and this food says it all. When I turn this camera off, or when this camera goes up, I'm gonna lick this spoon. I'm gonna <laughs> lick this spoon. <laughs> I'm gonna lick this spoon. <laughs> Guys, oh my gosh. I am full. I am drunk. I am satisfied. I am fulfilled. And it is all thanks to Chef Lee. It's my pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my so much gosh. For my I'm Sagittarius friend. Oh my god. Like, I just I just cannot thank you enough for this experience. Just everything introducing me to so many new flavors, so many new foods. Like, it was my pleasure. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna be back. I hope so. I'll be back, um, but guys, I'm about to take a nap, like in this booth, so. I can get your pillow. Thank you, it's my friend. I'm about to take a nap, so I'll catch y'all later. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, so bye.